What's your first introduction then to streaming? Like, do, how do you discover streaming, I guess? I mean, I'm a little older than you, so streaming like wasn't even a thing until, I don't know, at least I didn't know about it until probably even like mid-college, after college. What was your first introduction to streaming? Oh, uh, let's see. Um, Destiny, Destiny 1. I think the first time I ever watched a stream was the vault of glass or maybe crota one of those first um raids and i watched king Gathalion. um and he's, he's a pretty entertaining dude as well i think he's doing his thing on facebook or some some uh different platform other than twitch i believe but he was on twitch at the time and i watched him and i was like oh this is kind of cool like i love video games and then my buddy glad g-l-a-d-d -D. um since the doc's not on twitch i've been saying he's the most entertaining dude on the platform hands down can't watch him with your kids <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh it, he's so so funny and he me and him were playing long before he ever even thought about streaming and then we would do low man destiny challenges and there'd be two viewers me and him for him <laughs> right yeah and, and then uh he became at one point the most sub two streamer on twitch uh with uh one of his crazy it wasn't even a subathon he just just goes on these super long stream binges and extremely generous people throwing subs and it was nuts and that was kind of what gave me the confidence to quit my job and go for it i was like okay if, if glad can do this I've, I've been there right with him doing the same stuff i know i can do it too so uh, also in destiny the uh clan that um we're in redeem is pretty well known so if you're in like the well pretty well known in the destiny pve community i'll say sure. select a group of nerds knows about them <laughs> and everybody in the clan if they decide they want to stream or try to stream they have an audience just because of the redeem in the clan tag at least at that time okay yeah uh, tifu was another member of that clan nice. back in the day so sweat modern a lot of gamer gamers <laughs> that uh, are extremely good at whatever they do and have done some like super cool crazy things so um that was my what gave me the confidence to go for it was seeing the success of my buddy glad so i was there from the beginning and then see him climb to what he is i was like i can do this too and so even before you started your first actual stream um again i got a little bit of inside information from your little brother but he mentioned <laughs> that uh you would practice streaming playing PUBG to like three or four in the morning like quietly under your breath like explaining what you're doing but you guys shared a room so he heard everything <laughs> <laughs> yeah me and my brother shared a room for the majority of our lives i heard him him hearing me <laughs> go through that and get the reps in was uh payback for me listening to him play dark souls <laughs> <laughs> so even before you started streaming you decided i'm gonna quit my job and i'm going all into streaming or did you stream a little bit before you you, you uh quit that job i went all in nice. <laughs> if you can't tell by the little bit so far that's the only way that i really do things yeah is that i'm just i jump head first straight into it i just had like a little bit of a logistics problem because like i said um early on i grew up in the middle of nowhere so even when i was playing PUBG. Uh, I was playing off of my phone's hotspot. I had <laughs> terrible, terrible internet and I couldn't stream off that. So I was like, I was trying to still live at my parents' house and start streaming. I was calling, uh, you know, internet companies, seeing how much it would cost to dig a line. I called <laughs> pretending that I'm like some big business owner, like how much, how much is it going to cost for me to just dig a line all the way, you know, yeah. and 20 grand was the number that they gave me. And I was like, okay, that's not happening. <laughs> so I had to find like a little uh, one bedroom in the middle of Kalamazoo. It ended up having that brick wall. And um, it just, I quit my job and got my PC. Uh, Zam was the man, is the guy who helps everybody in Redeem. He's like a mod for Tifu, helped me build the uh, entire PC, walked me through the whole process, told me what to get, and then basically set up my entire stream setup for that first stream. Like nice. all in one night so he's just like huge shout out to zam he's the man heck yeah but yep yeah that was head first man <laughs> that's awesome so your first stream um walk me through kind of like the first i don't know couple months you know i'm i'm guessing it's just again well i guess it's not just you watching because you have kind of a built-in audience a little bit with redeem but Walk me through like those first couple months of streaming. Like, you know, what is the growth like and, and what are you thinking? Um, yeah, well, I got let's get pretty lucky with Glad. Um, he helped me out a lot right when I first started streaming. Um, before I even before I even did my first stream, he shouted at that time he was streaming to probably two and a half to three thousand people okay. per stream. 
and he shouted me out then i got the amount of followers that i needed to get affiliate <laughs> so i was like oh okay sweet yeah uh, started up stream and i played with him for like the first week straight mm. and it, which was a huge huge boost obviously when you get that type of exposure right off the rip i mean twitch or any live streaming obviously you can you can have what it takes but if you just don't kind of find your niche or get the exposure from somebody or something an article an interview something then it's going to be real tough for you right. to really get any sort of traction so that was that was huge um first week was with him and then it was tough too cuz i get used to averaging you know 40 50 viewers my first week i was like hey this is going to go real well dude and then uh, i don't play with glad and then stream at the same time as him and it just tanked and i was just like dang it man i got to really <laughs> rethink like if i cannot stream at the same time as him mm -hmm. if i unless i'm playing with him but um at the same time he did the verdance type streams that i was throwing out 20 30 hours that's what he does too mm -hmm. that's kind of how we gravitated playing together so it's just like well i don't want to not stream for <laughs> a day and a half i can't afford that if i'm going to try to make it so it was just a weird balancing act of trying to start towards the end of his stream maybe or if i catch a, it was all around his stream schedule which mm -hmm. is just the reality of what it is if you get the majority of your viewers from somebody else's exposure it is it is what it is it's funny i don't know if you heard the bread man interview i did with them but he actually described like a very similar situation except you're in the role of glad in that situation and he is you and he was talking about you know all the exposure he got from playing with you and then purposely trying to stream when you were not streaming and how impossible that was because you were doing 24 hour streams and, <laughs> and things like that. And he finally realized like, Hey, I got to break off from this and kind of build my own audience now that I got this great base from, from iron. But he was super appreciative of all that as well. Obviously he's a good dude. Um, so you're growing, uh, you were doing like 40, you know, when you're with glad you're doing less with, without glad, you know, what's your first big jump maybe to like where you're doing, I don't know, 50 on your own, uh, in your opinion? Um, well, it was kind of the same thing that I had done before I ever started streaming with glad. It was just low man challenges. That's what redeem was known for. So we'd do like solo zero hour speed runs and just like helping out people get certain guns or emblems or whatever armor, um, in destiny <laughs> or trials carries like grabbing somebody from chat, getting them to the lighthouse, stuff like that. So just helping people in the community was the best way for me to kind of grow from that 40 to, you know, 60, 70. Mm -hmm. But then I kind of got, well, a similar situation to when Warzone 2 came out where I just got super frustrated with the game. Destiny was in a very similar situation where it was just like, if you cared about the game, it was frustrating to play because there was no real like, reason to progress your skill mm -hmm. as long as you had like a certain level of it you could do everything in the game with your eyes closed and if i'm not seeing progress or knowing that i'm progressing and like have this end goal that i'm chasing then it's not a healthy version of myself at all so i just kind of uh like spiraled into grumpiness <laughs> which has happened multiple times it just i, I got, i'm still working on that but <clears throat> um then yeah stream kind of took like a, a big dip there until cod basically mm -hmm. there's a couple months did you play cod before warzone oh yeah i um man, world at war was my very first cod okay and this kind of goes back to the high school conversation uh but me and my buddy mainly me <laughs> would uh stay up all weekend and grind search and destroy leaderboards that was that was our thing that was my thing after high school um when i would just uh, still play by myself even when i was bodybuilding it just wasn't the same hours as i was doing um before or in high school where sure. i would just stay up all all night because i needed to get my sleep i needed to get my meals but i still game but search and destroy from world at war until advanced warfare or something like that where whenever you started boosting all over the place i was over that <laughs> yeah that's i think when i started playing destiny okay or whatever game was out at that time halo or destiny whatever yeah one of those two and so warzone drops what's your what were you doing um in terms of numbers on stream uh before warzone dropped like what was your average concurrent would you say 30. okay M at most i mean i would have some streams it depends a lot of the time on uh who's streaming and who's not or what time yeah. of the day as well but i would say 30 before warzone okay. uh, at the, actually i had broken away from destiny um it's kind of one of those things, uh, I guess, a different direction than um, Breadman took it, but I wanted to get away from Destiny completely 
because I just kind of realized the Destiny directory was very capped. It wasn't really going to grow. The people who uh, were the big names had like a, they basically had a corner on all of the people who were watching. And if you were streaming at any of the time as them, you were pretty much screwed. <clears throat> so I wanted to branch away completely and I went to PUBG, which was actually the biggest, uh, the best thing that I could have done for my mouse and keyboard skills. Mm. Destiny is a very easy game. PUBG, extremely difficult, requires a ton of practice. And I played that on stream for like two, three months, maybe, and just kind of threw away the viewership number, even though like I was using, I was trying to pay bills, you yeah. know, I decided to not get in my head about it and just focus on something that I could put my all into. And that was, that was huge for me. So even if my viewership was lower, I was loving it again, instead of just getting frustrated with destiny. And, um, so yeah, before Warzone dropped, I would like play a little bit of uh, multiplayer because I knew there was going to be a BR mm -hmm. in uh, 2019. And that was obviously not the first BR I've played. I had grinded PUBG leaderboards on console and Blackout leaderboards on console and been top 10 for PUBG solos and duos for like a year and or however long I wanted to basically until Blackout came out. And then in Blackout, I was number one for solo wins and number six overall for wins. Um, so when Warzone came out, I was like, okay, this is it. I, I like mm -hmm. knew that everything was like kind of like coming to this one, this one moment, that Eminem song, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I knew that that was my moment. I knew it was. Nice. So I, I switched to PUBG to get better at the game. And then I already had my team going in, the team that I had grinded Blackout leaderboards with. And uh, my buddy Mike Bot, who I was, who was my duos partner in PUBG, like I just had everything ready to go, um, and yeah, so thirty leading up to it, and it was kind of a slower start when mm -hmm. Warzone dropped. You know, it was it slowly kind of climbed because I was putting in good hours and we were winning all, like every game, but it really wasn't until the J God vid that thing just kind of everything just rolled from there. Okay. So yeah, I was gonna ask you, you know, like what's your first major step then in Warzone? So Jay God drops a video. Uh talk about what that video is about. Um, you know, that he put out about you. Yeah, it was the uh like how the number one player in Warzone wins what, seventy five percent or fifty percent of his games or whatever it was. And so you were number one on the leaderboard at that time when you put out that video? Uh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I was averaging seventy five to a hundred. Okay. And then the video comes out and it just jumps like crazy. The very next day, like 500. <laughs> that, was just, that was the, I mean, that's huge. You yeah, know? of course. Yeah. 75 to 500. And then my, and glad my buddy messaged me uh, on discord as I was like the last hour of that stream it was like a 12 hour stream, you know, normal, <laughs> normal numbers for that time. And he was like, don't end stream. Keep going. Cause you just like, you gotta just nice. ride this. And I was just like, I was just like, I'm just going to wake up and do it again tomorrow. Like, I'm not doing anything different. I believe it's going to work out. This is what I've been like working towards next day, 800, you know, the day after 1100, it just kept on going all the way to, I mean, I don't even know what number it just yeah. never really stopped for like a year. And it was just consistent growth like that, like day after day, every day. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this clip from Mimosa Brunch. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. And if you want to watch the full interview, just click right here.